Oh, I don't know that quick. <gasps> Uh, Who is that? You alright over there, Nate? Yeah, yeah, just look at this thing, Nat. I was looking at the map and come back, and this thing I know I'm driving off the side of the cliff. So me and my family came all the way out here to the middle of nowhere. We finally got our debt paid off. But I ended up making a bet with my cousin that ended up ruining my life. Will we succeed or will we go to jail this time because we don't got the money for it? Find out in today's episode of Family RP. Alright, boys. Pull on up. Yosha, do you like your eggs scrambled or no? Uh, over easy. Okay. What? are y'all boys doing we're making breakfast okay i'll let y'all make breakfast i'm gonna go deal with the milk is that dad out there asking what yeah. he wants hey. eggs as hey dad dad just not paying no attention hey stop ignoring me Fine, it'd be that way what'd he say he ignored me he ignored you his favorite yeah. son i know right something must be really wrong with dad yeah clearly yeah i think this debt's really starting to put a lot of weight on him well while he's doing that uh we got some fields to harvest and some fields to also plant all righty hey dad you read me yeah what's going on hey what you want in that uh field that we uh harvested and cultivated last time buddy i don't even think we got enough time to really even plant something else really no i don't think we have enough time to plant it and harvest it you're running out of time I, I guess i mean i don't know do what you do with that information i mean y'all can plant something in there in case we win but i mean i really don't want to give anything to them that we don't have to i ain't gonna lie to you buddy it look like we ain't gonna make it out of this one Man, that sounded rough like he's he's like giving up yeah he was like this before the first debt too really yeah but luckily that lawsuit came through but this time he doesn't have a lawsuit to save him i don't really don't know about y'all but i'm gonna go and harvest you know what i'm gonna go do some research i'll be back a little bit later bro where are you going going to town you know where town's at maybe don't get lost again i'll just radio you if i do uh of course you will hey dad you on the radio yeah what's up i was kind of riding around looking at the fields for a little bit trying to see where we're sitting at on some stuff looks like our potatoes are ready to harvest uh we heard anything back from the cop yet no basically the only thing i'm figuring is the lost cost it really stinks because there's a lot of money in these spuds well we're, we're still gonna get them out i have a buddy i've been talking to i'm gonna try to buy us two self-propelled harvesters all right i was just kind of doing some inventory kind of looking around seeing what we had yeah that's what i've been doing i think buying two self-propelled Harvest would be our best way to do it. Terrible right now, but we could. Don't even think about it. Won't mend the money. Be surprised. I know exactly how much money both of them bunkers over there make full. All right, bro. I'll take over for you. Alrighty. Let me close the sieves there. Gotta do that. Gotta tighten that up. Turn that on. All right. Let's look at this. Yeah, we're still spitting out some oats, so I need to tighten up the sieves a little bit more. There we go. Check that out a little bit. Yo, show you on the radio. Yeah. What's up? What you doing right now? Uh, working on trying to get some more feed for the cows. That's not a bad idea. You need something? Yeah, nine million dollars. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll get right on that. Are you uh, gonna be dropping that straw? I can switch it. Yeah, if you don't mind, because we don't have any straw bales, and uh, I'm gonna need some for this feed mixer. All right, buddy, I'm dropping the rest over there. All right, thank you. I want to ask y'all a question, boys. What's the plan if we don't get out of debt? Well, it's been nice knowing you, Dad. Wow, you just gonna throw me to the side like that? Yeah, sounds familiar, don't it? No, it doesn't. I did not throw you to the side. I didn't know you existed. There's a difference. It's not the same. I mean, put you in a show. We probably can get four hundred thousand dollars back off this combine we just can't do what we did last season and leave a field ready to harvest i mean you guys have a lot of equipment here worst case you could liquidate and probably settle most of it no not even most of it but we maybe have eight hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment not including the combine if that tells you anything all right we're gonna unload all this then we're done with the day on harvest are we boys yeah i think so too just because we don't have any potato harvesters thank god wait what was that over the radio nothing don't we kind of need these potatoes to help get out of debt well that's the good part boys is so uh, you know how we own that potato chip plant? Yeah. Once we get them made into potato chips, the company said they've already sold them for $2 million. So we just got to get them made, okay? For how many? You are, man. We're going to make about $2 million off of it. Well, they actually sold them for $3 million, but they're keeping... The percentage of it. Yeah. I'm also trying to talk to somebody, somebody else. So come gather around me, boys. Where are you? From the harvester. From the washing bay. Sorry. I was checking the storage on the bin. Yes, are you coming? Oh, where are you at? Next to the harvester and the washing bay. The silage bay that's been converted to a washing bay? Pretty much. We might make more money off of this if we actually turn into a car wash. Listen, I can't help that we have to use those washing bags. All right, so the plans are to make $2 million off potato chips. I'm talking to a power company, and they want to buy our liquid manure off of us, aka our slurry. For the rest of the year, they want all of our slurry, so that means we can't put in no slurry tanker and throw the slurry everywhere. So they're wanting to buy the slurry from us for the one year for $1.5 million. Wow. Happy's idea actually might come in handy. Well, that's not the only thing. Another the company that's up there where we make our potato chips at they also kind of made another business which is making butter and cheese well for all 
of our butter and cheese for the year with the milk that we're going to get and the milk we have already we're looking close to three million dollars for that as well okay so how much is that total we would still owe boys 2.27 so what are we going to do about that i have no clue i've done everything i can i've willed and dealed boys i've willed and willed and dealed i don't know i mean maybe we can make the money up somewhere else start selling equipment again <laughs> don't do that yet don't do that yet don't do anything yet you realize we still have to produce everything we promised to produce to make that money right selling on equipment we're going to be non-using oh, well you still hang on to it till the last day come on i was about to say we, we can still hold on to it for the last day but that still puts us pretty pretty close boys and then what about the potato field that we still need to harvest well that's the thing is i'm thinking about just buying something so that means we're gonna owe about three mil when he's all said and done watch no 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 i'm looking at four old machines that they're gonna cost about 30 grand a piece hey blake what? push kind of shove i can just push you in the pond real fast can i and collect the money off of your insurance policy the only thing you're gonna collect is a bigger debt if it gets me out of debt for a little bit it might be worth it not the debt that he's in i mean it comes with other businesses right yeah but they're in their own debt i'm just saying if it comes with other businesses it might be worth it you know i find it funny that you, you're supposed to you're supposed to have all this money and you work here yeah why did you yeah. come out here how about my brother was it to help out your brother or are you really broke and you just need somewhere to live no to help you out i think it's the actual what you just said i think he's running from the irs personally i don't know what you're talking about all right well, bro we just dropped that off about time you know that's getting the sheep a long time ago actually was beneficial yep hopefully those pigs become beneficial i'm about ready to sell the pigs okay sounds good to me bye bye pigs mm, bacon oh yeah can we keep one and make some bacon real quick though no darn it all right i may have leased something Th there's a reason behind me leasing this is because we are behind on our spraying and we need to get a lot of spraying with done and this is the best way to knock it out and quickly without running over the crops by too much what is that elise you did not why do you realize we're behind on our spraying we got two sprayers already well we're behind on it we need to spray and as tall as the crops are it'll destroy the crop wait a minute did you lease that from my boss yes oh great why do i feel like the deal was worked out with me being involved in it somehow no i paid two thousand dollars if you want to help me out i'd get in the other sprayer and start spraying one of the other fields because we got a lot of fields to spray yeah yeah we still got the potato topper don't we if we do hey uh blake what do you want why don't you go jump on that potato topper where is it in the farm somewhere yeah i'll go look for it all right you go ahead and start topping the potatoes whoa where did that thing come from Oh, I rented this. Yeah, dad made a dumb purchase. It's not a dumb purchase. It's a lease. It only cost me $2,000. That's nothing new. I don't know if I'd buy that for $2,000. Why? It's a cool machine. That's what I let you know, son. You suck at silage harvesting. Uh, I suck apparently out of everything since Yosho showed up. It's no longer <laughs> shooting, buddy. It's no longer going. Why is it no longer there? How close do I got to be? You got to be pretty close. Really? really close well you all that corn you're wasting because it doesn't have storage if it doesn't shoot you're wasting it i think it'd be more efficient just to shoot it on the ground and make him come out a bucket and pick it up boys we got a lot of this to do so but i think this might bring us the most amount of money the most efficient way possible don't y'all boys think we're gonna need more bunkers why you said that two that we got is it gonna hold all this yeah well trust me you would be surprised well i think this thing's about full how full are you a uh, hundred okay here i come hurry back I can't hold much. Yeah, sure. If you want, we can swap. Not too bad for a city boy, huh? Well, you do have my blood in you. Plus, you've been here for, what, a month and a half now? Remember, Yosho was here when we got told that we only have one year left on our loan and gave away what, my $1 million check. I mean, at least now you only owe nine instead of ten. Yeah, that is true. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. <laughs> what did you do? Uh, what the heck happened there? Yosho. What'd you do? I did nothing. Yosho just fell off. Well, that's not good. Oh, man. The bolt sheared right off. That's what it is. Oh, no. Yep, there's the other half it's over here please tell me y'all are joking no oh no eh, of course you broke something i did not break it just because i'm the one driving does not mean it's broken by me okay this legitimately was wear and tear now what well, i don't know what to do it just it just came off oh, i'm gonna go dump this in the silage bin yep and i'm gonna pick it up with this yeah about the best bet oh this ain't gonna be good to fix all right there we go bro yep now let's just get back on to the farm yeah i guess so the question now is what do we do with the field i don't know because now that takes away the silage option we had i really don't know but well, you think we can possibly lease something else i mean we lease the sprayers maybe he can let us lease some uh forage harvesters here's the problem with trying to lease something like that is he's going to want 20 40 we've only got six so y'all just want to stand in a triangle and throw a ball around because there ain't nothing else to do uh, we can play hack sack yeah that's about where i'm at do you got one nope fresh out hold up i got an idea all right yeah sure go long oh no this ain't bad oh <laughs> i got that one